Greetings class students. In this video, I will show you how I created this business card holder using stencils and glass paints. Supplies I used for this project included the glass line paints, some clear transparent contact paper for making my stencil, some tweezers, a needle tool, and a ruler. For this design, I used three pieces of glass, which were a seven by four clear, a piece of three by four clear, and a piece of four by four black. The stencils I used were cut out of the transparent contact paper, which I used with our stencil cutter. With the cutter, you can get really intricate little details cut out for you without having to sit there and do it yourself because a little machine does it and that's really, really great, but you have to be selective which, with which kind of stencil you do this with. If it's got tons of tiny little, little lines, then it's going to be pretty impossible to transfer it to your glass unless you cut it out of probably a vinyl will be more sturdy to transfer. You can also cut your stencils by hand, but if you would like to use the stencil cutter, let me know and we can work out a design together. Once the cutter's done its job, I just need to peel off my stencil and place it on the glass. For the smaller one, it was easier to peel off the entire contact paper piece with the cutout silhouette in there and transfer that directly to the glass. Make sure to smooth out your stencil as best you can, getting rid of as many air bubbles and wrinkles because these can cause issues when you go to apply your paint. I then use my needle tool to help keep my stencil shaped down while I remove negative space around my stencil. It's worth it to take your time applying these stencils and using the proper tools like the needle tool and the tweezers to make sure everything is where you want it. In the long run, this will make it easier when you're applying your paint and you'll have less cleanup later. If you do mess up your stencil beyond recognition and you can't use it anymore, just make a new one. I took time to weed out the small pieces in the center. This is where the needle tool is very, very useful. And then using the tweezers to pull those pieces out. Now that my stencils are applied, I am ready to use my paint. I am using three colors, so I'm applying a small puddle of each at the edge of my glass. I want to make sure that I'm applying enough that it'll reach all the way across the glass when I use my ruler to squeegee, but not so much that I'm going to waste a bunch. If you want, you can have an extra piece of glass on the side that you can apply the excess paint to and use as a component in another design. Now I'm using my ruler like a squeegee to spread the paint across my glass, going over the stencil, and I am covering the background. You notice I go back and forth a couple times, trying to make sure that I'm keeping my colors separated so I'm not flipping my ruler around and mixing my colors a bunch. I'm just trying to reapply and even out the color in their own little fields. I repeated the same process with some different colors for the palm trees. And to make the blue section look a little bit more like waves, I just wiggled my ruler as I swiped across on one of the last swipes. So you make sure that you get the color spread out and then you do a little wiggle on your last swipe. Now you should wait for your paint to completely dry before removing your stencil. And before I removed mine, I made sure to clean up my edges. The paint can roll off the edge of the glass and it doesn't hurt anything, but if it ends up underneath your glass and facing the kiln shelf, it will not fire glossy and you'll just have kind of a chalky stain on the bottom of your glass. So especially for this piece where the bottom parts will be shown and the edges will be shown very visible. I want to make sure I clean very, very well. It'll remove just fine with some water or your rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to use my needle tool to remove the stencils, which will peel off the glass and remove any of the paint that's sitting on top of them. 
Take your time with this. Make sure you're only picking off the sticker parts. If you accidentally remove paint that you didn't mean to, adding more paint back to it will be visible once it's fired. You can use a dry paintbrush to dust away the peeled paint that might have gotten stuck to any areas. And then your needle tool again is very useful for fixing any areas that paint might have leaked into where your stencil didn't stick quite right or it might have shifted. Also for my little minarets, the crescent shapes on top were such small stickers I chose to scratch them in after the paint was completely dried instead of trying to maneuver and stick the sticker in the right spot. Next, I assembled my pieces on my kiln paper. I have my two smaller pieces on the kiln paper with the paint side up, and I have capped them with the seven by four clear piece. And here's the piece after a full fuse. Now, the last trick is just getting it perfectly positioned on our business card holder mold, which is also a napkin holder mold. Since I want one side of my holder to be longer than the other, I need to place it just so on the mold. Having the two different colors of glass made this a lot easier. If you're using a single color of glass, you'll need to break out the measuring tape to make sure you're putting it in the right spot. This mold also requires that you place a piece of kiln paper between your glass and the mold because the glass tends to hug on to the ceramic mold a lot more tightly and sometimes either break the glass or break the mold. So it's best to just cut a piece of kiln paper to the exact size of your glass that you're placing on there and place it in between. <laughs> 